Yeah. This is the first half. Yeah. No, second half. Sam, how would you evaluate the offense overall and just kind of how it flowed? And it was a little bit of a slow start. We got things going. What was, what was your perception? Yeah, I mean, it's just part of basketball. It's, it's a game of runs. Um, obviously, we, we didn't, especially in the second half, we didn't start um, the way we wanted to. But I think Coach said we ended up going on a 21-0 run. So that's just basketball and, and believing in your teammates. Um, you know, we have a really together group. I was talking to Derek at the end of the game there. It's just I love playing with these guys. And, um, you know, when, when we can rely on each other and um, maybe we're not executing like we should be or, or shots aren't falling, um, you know, we, we always have that trust built in. And, and I think that showed. So. so you slow start, beginning of the game, beginning of the second half. What did you think of the effort, energy, um, especially on defense, <clears throat> to kind of overcome that, that offense. Uh, I mean, it's our it's our first time actually playing with each other against someone else. So, um, <laughs> you know, so to just go out guns blazing, you know, that's that's what we wanted to do. But, you know, at the same time, we have to settle into the game. You know, uh, there's a lot of uh, pregame jitters and just a lot of people that's first time playing in PBA. So just settling into the game and just getting a feel for it. Uh, it was just the biggest thing for our group. Um, I had all the confidence in the world that we were just going to pick it up and we were going to get the ball rolling. We just had to settle into the game, that's all. Eric, what did you see from the team kind of riding that ship in that second half after they had cut it down to six? Don't talk about my shoulder, please. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, man, uh, he's just really good at keeping us poised, keeping us controlled. Um, he's a really big body, so whenever it's um, time for him to get a rebound or just get us an uh, easy bucket at the rim, um, he does that. Um, he's a great point guard, and he just controls our team. He's the head of the snake. Of the Amazing. Amazing. I love watching him shoulders fly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sam, is that sort of what you guys have been seeing from Jawan? 23 points. In yeah, um, I thought at, at some points they guarded him a little disrespectfully, <laughs> I guess, for, for his <laughs> talent level or whatever. And, and we have the utmost confidence in, in his shot making ability. And, um, you know, if teams are going to guard him like that, we'll, we're fine with that. Um, but the biggest thing is, is he just brings that dog mentality. Um, and obviously that showed tonight just on the offensive boards. And, um, you know, he's a really confident player and he brings especially coming off the bench, a certain level of, of juice um, with his game, and, and that is very infectious for the rest of us. So it's nice to have him out there with us. Sam, you guys were able to get it done in the paint and the second chance points, but the perimeter shooting seemed to struggle most of the night. You got some at the end there, but um, any level of concern just about that element of the offense? Uh, no, no concern. I think part of it is, you know, it's, it's the first time for a lot of our guys, um, me kind of wearing Nebraska on my chest. Um, just like Derek talked about, but yeah, I mean, we're we're a really confident group, and you know, obviously, and, and CJ, Wilhelm, Casey, you know, those guys are going to get it going, and, and we are, are very very confident in that. So you talked about that opening night was kind of an emotional experience for you. Was it like to be out there today in a game setting with fans and all that? Um, yeah, I mean, it was it was emotional again. The the thing that I thought about before the game was both my. Um, grandparents passed away in the last two years and um, they were very involved with the university my dad was or my my grandpa was actually the timeskeeper or one of those guys um, when Fred's grandpa was a coach here um, and he was involved with the university for 30 40 years so just knowing that they have a front row seat to this whole to tonight and this whole um, whole year is a pretty special opportunity just to honor them um, so that was kind of on my mind, but obviously I looked out there and I knew a lot of people and, and just being able to re represent them in this community means the world to me. And, and I couldn't ask for a better of group of guys to re represent this um, com community that I know so well. So yeah, I was talking about how it took some guys who had never played in PBA before a little while to, to get adjusted to it. With, with that, you have that experience as well, but also with you know, all the ties that you have to this area, what was that like for you to just sort of get your feet wet and get adjusted? It was, I've been waiting for this day for a long time. Um, so it kind of, I didn't sleep very well last night, but um, I'm just kind of glad that we got the jitters out and um, just to, like Derek said, play against someone else. Um, and I mean, yes, there's a lot of, um, I don't know what you want to call it, but just with the community, and, and um, the relationships that I have with so many of the fans and stuff like that. There's a lot of that, but at the end of the day, it's just a basketball game. 
Um, and I think it's really important for our guys to remember that and, and for that to be on our mind. Derek, it looked like the whole bench was staying in that point late in the game when the reserves were playing. And just kind of bringing it to the, this team and how they, do you sense a, a good togetherness early on with this group? Yeah, um, yeah, this team is amazing, man. Like you said, everyone's standing just because we're so happy for each other. Um, and just we, we gel well together um, and just to see that our our other guys get in the game you know because we honestly believe we got a team that everyone at any given moment can be in a rotation or start so um, so just knowing that everyone is balled in and just playing together and just happy for each other um, I think that's just our thing right now we're just all happy we, we can't wait to just put on the show for PPA and we can't wait to play with each other Done. Got some good run today. Yes, some yes, some good hustle stuff for you. What has he shown you guys in practice that, that he's ready for that kind of role? Um, uh, exactly what you've seen, actually. Um, you know, Denham every day, he's just taking a, a day by day um, and taking every chance he can to get better. You know, um, he, he's honed in on being one of our defensive guys. He's honed in on being one of our offensive rebounding guys. Um, and he, he plays freaking hard. Um, so just him giving us, uh, him getting those, those extra possessions um, in the game, those, those energy possessions, um, Denham, Denham is really great at that. Um, he plays his role, and he's, he's not okay to say that either. Um, I mean, just to kind of piggyback off of what Derek said, um, in basketball, you know, defense is really where the energy is, is brought. And um, when you can get stops and get out and run, that's when basketball becomes really fun. Mm -hmm. um, and the other thing is, is offensive rebounds are so demoralizing for opponents. Yes. So Denham brings the defensive side and the offensive rebounding. And it just, um, I mean, I think he was a, a big part of that second half and, and um, just, you know, demoralizing the opponent in both, you know, getting defensive stops um, and then offensive rebounds as well. There's a size advantage against this team, which helps, you know, force turnovers and grab offensive rebounds. When we start playing teams in the Big Ten, even Colorado next week, that are bigger, um, what about what you guys did today is transferable? Like, how are you going to be able to replicate that? Our effort, our energy, because, um, you know, our matches will always be different, but as long as we bring effort and energy, um, it'll always be about us. Yeah, I think togetherness is the word that comes to mind for me. I mean, that translate, translates at any level against any opponent. Um, like I've, I talked about, basketball is a game of runs. I mean, they, they credit to them. They went on some runs tonight. We went, obviously, on a, on a big run. But the biggest thing for us is just to stay consistent. Um, and each, each game we look at as kind of a stepping stone and, and a le learning opportunity. Um, so obviously, next week um, is a big learning opportunity for us. Um, it's going to be a great challenge for us, but the biggest thing for us is to stay together through the ups and the downs of, of season because that's college basketball. Um, and um, just to have that, um, especially you know our, our core leaders, um, to to make sure that we're all on the same page throughout this whole year and just staying together is really important for us. <laughs> Thank you, guys. See you guys. What do you think about